So, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Rexman here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my updated Cybers deck profile for the 2018 format, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This deck profile is going to be a combination of all the previous Cyber support that we recently got, at the same time, the brand new Cyber support from the starter deck, Holdbreaker. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more deck profiles like these, make sure you guys go down there right now and smash the thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. Right now, guys, Cybers is a deck that you guys should play for fun and on a local level and things like that. Within the near future, we're going to be getting really broken cyber support, so make sure you guys wait till that comes out before this deck becomes meta. But for now, guys, the deck is just a very fun deck to actually compete on a local level, and I'll explain to you guys some of the combos you guys can actually do throughout the end of the video. By the way, guys, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your limited time only Blue Eyes versus Exodia playmat today. I do free shipping to Canada and USA. International shipping may cost extra. So if you guys would like to help support Team Samurai X1, make sure you guys get your playmat today. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So make sure All right, guys, start with the monster you're going to play. Obviously, the best monster in the deck is Triple Prompt Thorn. This card is absolutely insane. If you guys do not know what this card does, it basically reads that you contribute one level four lower Cybers monster, special summon any number of Cybers, normal monsters from your deck, and or graveyard whose total level equals to the tribute monster level on the field, but banish them during the end phase. You don't use this effect of Prompt Thorn once per turn. So basically, if you can easily bring out this card, whether or not it'll be normal summoning this card or using one for one to actually access this card directly from the deck, you're pretty much in a position where you can actually, you know, spam a lot of link monsters. So to accompany off the Prompt Thorn, you obviously want to play the Triple Protron. This card is insane, guys. The reason why this card is so good is because it works really well with Prompt Thorn, and you're playing a lot of level threes in the deck. So if you're able to tribute out a level three monster, uh, you control to the graveyard, you can easily spare summon three uh, Protron directly from the deck. So that way that you can just proceed into your uh, combo plays by making link monsters and things like that. And with the release of, uh, what's it called? Um, Transcode Talker, this combo is actually really amazing to actually put uh, big beefy Cybers monsters on the board. So, uh, Triple Prawn Thorn and obviously Triple Protron are definitely a must have in the deck. And if you open up with this card, it's okay because you can easily make cards like, uh, you know, the Link Spiders and, uh, you know, putting more monsters in the graveyard for cards like Monster Born also Soul Charge is also pretty good as well. And last but not least, you're also going to play the one Bitron. The reason why you play Bitron is because it's level 2 monster. So, let's say you open up Prawn Thorn and, and a way to actually get a level 4 monster in the field. Let's say you open up this card and also a Balancer Lord. First, I'm in the two Pro drawn and also one bitch drawn directly from the deck, which gives you a total level of uh, you know four on the board, which is amazing. So you guys can also play Digitron if you guys would like, if you guys want to you know access more damage on the board. But unfortunately, I could not find my Digitron for the deck profile. But uh, anyways, the reason why Bitron is in here, or if you want to play Digitron, is that it's a level two monster, uh, just in case you actually uh, tribute out a level four monster, so that way that you have access to these monsters directly from the deck. You must play these cards in the deck because these cards literally speed out the deck. And commonly off Prompt Thorn with Soul Charge. Oh my. My goodness guys the amount of crazy plays that you're actually able to make is just insane next out really powerful card is obviously the dot scapper uh this card is amazing uh if you guys don't know what dot scapper's effect is that if this card is sent to the graveyard you can spot some of this card if this card is banished you can spot some of this card you only use one dot scapper's effect per turn and once that turn and you can obviously use each of its effect only once per duel which is good uh so the dot scapper really amazing card to actually help extend your combo plays next off for the new supports we'll play of course double cybers white hat this card is actually really good it's another monster which can be easily special summon itself on your side of the field because it's effect. The really good thing about this card's effect is that it's a generic effect, so if you control two or more monsters with the same type, you can easily bring out this card uh, from your hand, but since you're playing a Cybers deck, all your monsters are going to be Cybers, so you can easily special summon this card. And it also has an amazing ability. When this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material, you basically get to nuke all your opponent's monsters attack by 1,000, which is pretty good, you know, coming off with uh, Transcode Talker and also uh, Trigate Wizard. You can easily deal a ton of damage, uh, you know, coming off with this card, which is pretty great. So, double Cybers White Hat. Next up, you're going to play, of course, double Widget Kid. Uh, if you guys do not know what Widget Kid is, the fact is that uh, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can special one Cybers monster from your hand in defense position. So this card, calming off uh, with Prompt Thorn, you're pretty much in a very lit position because you summon Widget Kid, special summon Prompt Thorn, activate Prompt Thorn, tribute off the Widget Kid, special summon three, uh, you know, uh, Protrons directly from the deck. So that way that you continue on with your combo plays, which is pretty cool. So Prompt Thorn uh, and Widget Kid is pretty good with each other. And also at the same time, you're also playing Triple Backup Secretary, uh, which is pretty amazing as well. Another good combo card, especially combo out with Prompt Thorn. You know, summon Prompt Thorn, activate backup secretary, special with itself. Should be all backup secretary, special with three uh, Protrons directly from the deck. If you control a Cyber Monster, you can special this card from your hand. So you, you actually just want to open up with, with this card as quickly as possible so that way that you can just go off with your combo plays. So. Next up, I'm going to play, of course, Real Balance of Lord. I actually love this card. If you guys do not know what Balance of Lord's effect is, it's essentially a Gemini Seraphonite. You pay a thousand light points, you get an additional normal summon of a Cyber Monster uh, this turn, which is really good. So, combo out Balance of Lord with Prompt 
Prom Thorn, you pretty much have a you know a really good combo. Same thing with Widget Kid and also Prom Thorn. You're pretty much in a really good position to actually just spam more monsters on the board. And Master Lore has an amazing secondary ability when this card is banished. We're not using cards like Monster Reborn or Born, or also using cards like Degrade Buster to actually banish this card. You can special in a monster from your hand. Definitely a must-have in the deck. And the fact that it just gives you an additional normal summon is just pretty good. Next up, okay, of course, double boot stag guard. You guys don't know what boot stag guards affect. When a cyber's monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, special summon this card from your hand, and if this card inflicts battle damage, uh, you basically get a special summon one stag token, cyber's earth level one, zero attack and zero defense, which is pretty awesome. You know, generates tokens. Any monsters that generate tokens or any cards that generates tokens, you know, in today's game is always obviously pretty good. The only unfortunate thing about boot stag guard is that it's level five, so we can't come off with prom thorn, which is pretty unfortunate, but it's just another monster which you can easily uh, freely put on the board and at the same time it's a 2300 beat stick. Last couple cybers monsters you're gonna play the boss monster of the deck is double degrade buster. This card is actually pretty great. If you guys do not know what degrade buster effect is that you can special summon this card from your hand uh, by banishing two cybers monsters from a graveyard. So you know some of the cybers monsters that trigger off their effects in the graveyard are cards like Balance of Lord and also uh, you know the best card in the deck is obviously the Dot Scapper. Uh, so if you banish these two cards they basically gain their effects uh, you know which is pretty awesome when Dot Scapper is banished you bring it back. Balance of Lord gets banished. Special summon a monster from your hand uh, which is pretty good but overall this card is, is a 2500 beat stick with an amazing ability actually his ability reads that you can target one monster your opponent controls with higher attack than his card which is a quick effect banish it until the end phase it's a quick effect so you can actually activate it during the player's turn whenever a monster you know has a 2500 or more attack uh, you activate eager buster boom banish it they'll come back at the end of their turn which is pretty amazing so essentially a walking bls for cybers monsters obviously not better than bls but you know kind of similar to bls all right and then next one of course the one nightmare corruptor Ibli. this card is not really good in your first and opening hand it's just really good during mid or late game because you're easily able to special them in, you know, the Ibli, revive back a Link monster, and then just easily uh, link it away for like a Link 4 or something like that. So, you know, Corruptor Ibli, it's just pretty good in the deck. It's not a break in the deck. It only breaks if you open it in your opening hand without having any Link monsters in the graveyard. And last but not least, you know, you don't play, of course, Double Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, you know, to actually counter the meta. You guys can also play cards like Drone Lockbird, you know, play whatever you guys want, play whatever hand traps you guys will like. Really good. You guys can also play Drone Lockbird if you guys will like, but just use my deck list as a guide to what you guys can play in your own deck. Remember, guys, my deck list is, is just a template. I want you guys to actually watch these deck profiles and learn from the deck, uh, you know, my tech choices and the reasoning behind some of the cards that I play in the deck. But then after you guys go to your table and your lab and things like that, I want you guys to incorporate my techs and my choices using your own techs and choices as well. So that way that you guys can build a perfect deck profile to your own liking. This is just my variation of the deck. You guys have many different variations. I know that. So just use my deck as a guide to what you guys can play in your own deck. All right, guys, off to the spell card. You want to play the best card uh, in the deck, obviously, is the Soul Charge. All right, guys. If you open up Soul Charge, you can do so many things in this deck, and it's insane. And you know, you know, to be honest, guys, the deck is is it's just very explosive with Soul Charge. I believe that Soul Charge and Gookie is great. Soul Charge and Blue Eyes is great. Soul Charge and Cyber is actually pretty amazing as well. So if you can actually see this card in your opening hand as quickly as possible, you pretty much are in a great position to actually make an unbreakable board. Monster Board is just a really good card as well. Another you know extender, uh, one for one, brings up Prompt Thorn from the deck for free. Uh, the reasoning also helps get another monster on the board, which is pretty awesome as well. Uh, and then that, from more monster reborn cards, you know monster reborn reborn If you guys don't know what this card does is you pick three monsters You know your opponent chooses one to special summon and you just banish the rest So this card is actually pretty amazing a balance of lord and also dot scapper as well Which is pretty good. So if you pick up, you know dot scapper balance of lord and another monster You know if they give you the other monster you're banishing balance of lord and dot scapper They're coming back on the field, which is pretty good. So Monster Reborn Reborn is just a great uh, double world legacy uh, succession. This card is another monster reborn from the deck, uh, which is really awesome as well. So you can easily special summon a monster to a uh, zone and link monster points to. Last but not least, for your token generators, I am playing, uh, you know, double one time pass code. This card freely generates a token for your link spiders. And then last but not least, uh, the best token generator in today's game is obviously a uh, triple uh, scapegoat. Uh, scapegoat is broken. Uh, next ban list, this card is gonna be hit to one. I am pretty certain about that. This card is insane, guys. Link climbing really easily, one card borrow load. Card is just, oh, ridiculous, man. In a cybers deck, Holy macaroni, escape code is great. And last but not least, for my two spells, I am playing double left arm offering. You guys are probably confused on why the heck I'm playing this card, but the theory behind this card is that if you open up, you know, left arm offering and like a widget kit, like you, like you open up these two and the other two cards doesn't matter, you pretty much just win the duel. Uh, because 
Like, this deck is just so reliant on actually trying to link climb as quickly as possible, trying to spam your link monsters as possible. Soul Charge is like the best card in the deck. Like, hands down, like, I'm being completely honest, Soul Charge is the best card in the deck. And actually, my even want to maximize this on actually playing triple copies of this card. You know, if you open up these two cards, bring out your Protrons from the deck, and then go into your link plays, and then, you know, actually left arm, banish the two cards in your hand, and then go Soul Charge. You literally just win the duel. So the reason why Death Arm is in here is because of Soul Charge. You just want to dig through your deck for Soul Charge as quickly as possible. And that's the theory behind it is because you just want to try to get to this card. You're playing, uh, what is it? Uh, three copies of Soul Charge. So, you know, double Death Arm offering is you're playing three Soul Charge in the deck. You guys can also bump this card up to three, but try it out yourself. When I open up Prompt Thorn at level three punch, so like backup secondary and like, you know, Left Arm offering or Soul Charge, you pretty much have an unbreakable board, man. It's crazy. Let's go after your Psydeck real quick, guys. Psydeck is always at the personal preference. But you know, you know, it's just a basic template you guys can you know use to you know have an idea on what to play. Call by the grave, really good going for his cards so that way that your opponent doesn't interrupt your left arm or things like that. Gold Soldiers, uh, you know, hate true nades against Sky Strikers, red reboots against uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, Sky Strikers evenly matched going second and triple draw and Lockbird. Uh, I would side out Ash Blossom and putting Call by the Grave going first so that way that I have a chance to actually combo off by making my my boards obviously for the extra guys you're gonna play of course double trans code talker this is the you know the new card obviously card is amazing you guys should already know its effect by now easily provides back uh, you know a cyber monster from the grave for the administrator helps boost all your monster attack which is pretty good and it's pretty relevant one of the best cyber monsters in the deck penistag link karibo and link spider i call this package right here the trans code talker package so these, uh, you know, the basic uh, Transcode Talker package, the one Honeybot, uh, Trigate Wizard, uh, Xcode Talker, and Code Talker. You're playing every other Talker except for Decode Talker. And then you're playing, uh, you know, your Borlord Dragon right here. You know, I, the reason why I play Borlord is because I want to have a, a monster which can easily break boards, obviously. And it's a pretty good, you know, boss monster in the deck. And I'm playing the Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn. The reason why I'm playing these cards is because of Scape Code. So if, uh, you know, instead of just going uh, X Code Talker, I want to have an option to actually go into these two cards right here. So that way that I can just, uh, you know, easily get rid of back row, get rid of any problematic, uh, problematic monster and things like that. And last but not least, the one uh, Firewall Dragon to run off your extra deck. So that that's pretty much for the extra guys. So I can also main deck. Remember guys, you always use my deck as a guy to what you guys can play in your own deck. Let's go after the combo real quick. All right guys, all right guys, for the combo, all you need is Prom Thorn and a level three monster. And you guys can have, either have Widget Kid or a backup secondary. It doesn't really matter, okay? So, you know, if you open up with this or this, or if you open up with, you know, Balance of Lord and this, like it doesn't really matter. You just, one of these cards with, uh, you know, Prom Thorn, you pretty much are in a great position to actually combo off. So for this situation, I'm gonna use uh, just a widget kid because he's a new card and I just want to use new cards uh, for this combo anyways what you do with this is uh, very standard. Uh, you normal summon Widget Kid. You activate Widget Kid's effect. When his card is normal summon, special summon the Cyber's monster from your hand in defense. Activate Prompt Thorn's effect. Tribute off Widget Kid. Easily special summon triple Protrons directly from the deck. The glare is pretty heavy there, guys. My apologies. Send this to the grave. Make a Link Spider. Send this to the grave. Make a, you know, Link Karibo. Cool. And then you can send these two to the graveyard to make cards like, you know, Flame Administrator. And then with Flame Administrator, uh, you know, you're going to use these two. Prompt Thorn and Flame Administrator. Transcode Talker. Activate Transcode Talker effect. Special in Flame Administrator. Uh, which is pretty cool. And then you can, you know, activate Link Creeble's effect to tribute this off, especially on itself from over here. Uh, it, it, you know, it's all to personal preference on what you guys want to do. But at this point, like what I usually do, like at this point, like let's say that I do have, you know, a World Legacy Succession. Like what I would do is I'll make these two, send these two to the grave. Trigate Wizard. Cool. And then I'll activate World Legacy Succession to basically special summon a uh, Flame Administrator uh, to point at, uh, you know, what's it called? Trigate Wizard right here. And then you basically have just a big board of monsters which can easily trample or anything. Also make cards like, instead of, uh, you know, the Trigate Wizard, you can make cards like, uh, what is it called? The Encode Talker. You know what I mean, like the Encode Talker right here, you can easily push for more damage right here at this point, uh, you know, depending on the, obviously the current situation that you're in. So that's just a pretty uh, quick prompt Thorn combo that you guys can actually do with this deck, especially with the release of Transcode Talker. Same thing with Scape Code. If you open up Scape Code, you uh, have the exact same identical combo. What you can do with Scape Code is that, you know, you activate Scape Code, four tokens, one, two, you know, three, and four right here. And by the way, guys, these are Team Saramax one token. So if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your tokens today, guys. I'll leave all the links and information in the description box below but yeah anyways guys these are collectible tokens guys uh send these uh, you know send the token to the grave well send the token away you obviously make a link spider you no know, same thing send the token make uh what is this called a link karibo send these two to the grave 
make a flame administrator, uh, you know, using, uh, what's it called, another token right here. Send it to the graveyard. To make another link spider right here, which is pretty good. Send these two to the grave. Make a transcode talker. Activate transcode talker's effect. Provide back flame administrator. Cool. And now at this point, you have you have one more token left. You can activate Link Karibo's effect. Should be the token, especially with Link Karibo. And now at this point, what you can do is you can easily make you know cards like Trigate or Encode Talker. You know, you guys can make Encode Talker or Trigate or X Code Talker. Depending on the current situation that you're in, you can make a Trigate. It's 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 all pretty much the same thing. You know, you have another extended card like you know, like, you know, World Legacy, uh, you know, Succession, activated, you know, special in the back, Flame Administrator, makes you just go off from there. So essentially the exact same combo, it just depends on the current situation that you're in. And like I said, guys, you pretty much have the same thing with Scape Code. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go on it right now and smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. This is Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. The game, Shh, I need a minute. Uh. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deed with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it, like no, no.